today we will be reading the story of Zacchaeus and Jesus. Zacchaeus lived in a very fine house on the edge of a town called Jericho. His house was big and richly furnished. He had lots of servants and plenty of food. In fact, he had everything he could wish for, except one thing. He had no friends. No one ever came to visit him. No one ever came to eat with him. Poor Zacchaeus. He was very rich, but he was also very lonely. Each evening, as the sun was setting, He'd look out down the road that led to the city, hoping someone might come. And each evening, no one came. You see, Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He collected money from all the people in the town for the Roman governor to use. Even the very poor people were forced to pay their taxes, and their families go hungry. So the townsfolk hated Zacchaeus. And to make matters worse, Zacchaeus used to overcharge them and keep the extra money for himself. One day, while collecting taxes at his table in the marketplace, he overheard some women talking. They say Jesus, the miracle worker, is heading this way. Yes, he should come down the main street. I've heard he teaches wisely and knows a lot, yet he mixes with all sorts of people, good and bad. Zacchaeus was curious. He wondered what this man, Jesus, was like and decided to go and see him. A big crowd had begun to line the main street. Zacchaeus was a small man and could not see over the shoulders of the people even when he stood on tiptoe. He could not push through to the front either. The people knew who he was and pushed and knocked him or just sneered and blocked his way. What was he to do? He looked around and there, a little way ahead, at the edge of a crowd, was a strong, sturdy sycamore tree. If he could climb up into its branches, he would be able to see Jesus over the heads of the people. That would show them. So off he ran down the road to the sycamore tree. The bottom branches were quite high and he had to jump to catch hold of one. Then with a heave, he swung his legs up and pulled himself up till he was sitting on the lowest branch. Hmm, I hope I don't fall, he thought to himself as he climbed higher. Soon, Jesus and his disciples appeared in the distance, followed by the large crowd all wanting his attention. But in the middle of all the noise, Jesus looked up and saw Zacchaeus sitting in the tree and said to him, hurry down Zacchaeus, I'm coming to your house for a meal tonight. Zacchaeus couldn't believe his ears. How did Jesus know his name? And if he knew his name, then he must know that Zacchaeus was a tax collector and no one spoke to tax collectors, let alone had supper with them. He scratched his head in puzzlement. And slowly, a big grin spread across his face. Jesus did know his name and what he was. And Jesus still wanted to be with him. It didn't matter to Jesus how bad he had been. Zacchaeus jumped out of the tree and pushed his way through the crowd towards Jesus. You're very welcome to come to my house and eat with me tonight, he said to Jesus. I shall go and make the arrangements right away. Zacchaeus ran on ahead. He was so excited. At last, someone was coming to visit him at his home. The people in the crowd grumbled to each other. Jesus shouldn't eat with the likes of Zacchaeus. He's a cheat and a liar. Jesus is too good for him. He shouldn't mix with wicked men like Zacchaeus. Jesus heard what they were saying, and it made his heart sad that they should hate people like Zacchaeus so much. Jesus and his disciples walked up the lonely road to Zacchaeus' big house. Zacchaeus welcomed them warmly and they sat down to supper. They spent many hours eating and talking. Zacchaeus felt so happy that this very special man had taken the time and the trouble to come and be with him, even when the crowd tried to discourage him. He realized Jesus cared about him and how wrongly he had been living. In fact, Jesus' visit had meant so much to Zacchaeus that he decided to live a new life from that moment on. He stood up and said to Jesus, I have lied to many people and cheated them, but I want to live an honest life from now on. I shall give half of everything I own to the poor people and whoever I have cheated, I will pay back four times as much. Jesus was pleased. As he and his disciples got ready to leave, he said to Zacchaeus, today you have left your old and wicked ways behind you and begun a new life. 
That is why I have come. Then they left Zacchaeus smiling in his new life and continued on their journey. And Zacchaeus knew he would never be lonely again. Hello and welcome. It's great to be with you again this week. I wonder if you can see what I've got here. I've got some fabric conditioner. I've got some hand cream. I've got some foot lotion. And I've got some moisturiser for the face. Now, what links all those four things, can you think? Well, if you thought of the word soften, you got it right because all of these things soften things. So the fabric conditioner, when it goes in your washing machine, softens your clothes. The hand cream softens the skin on your hands. The foot lotion softens the skin on your feet. And the moisturiser will soften the skin on your face. And in today's story, we heard about a man who had a really hard heart. But at the end of the story, when he met Jesus, his heart softened. Okay, so let's think about the story. What do we know? Well, we know the man was unpopular. People didn't like him. In fact, they said he was a sinner, which is a bit strange, really, because we're all sinners. We all shove God out of the way. We all get things wrong. We all mess up. We're very good, all of us, at pointing the finger and noticing what other people are getting wrong and forgetting to look at ourselves and seeing what we're getting wrong. So people looked at him, they said he's getting things wrong. Well, he was getting things wrong. He was a tax collector. Now, taxes are, are good things, really, if they're collected fairly. Taxes are money that gets paid to the government. And taxes help to pay for our hospitals, for our schools, for our roads, for our parks, for all sorts of things. And if they're collected fairly, they're good for everyone. But this man, he wasn't fair because when the government told him that he ne needed to collect two pounds from somebody, he would tell the person, that he needed to collect four pounds. And then he'd give two to the government and he would keep two to himself. So he was cheating people. He wasn't just a tax collector, he was the chief tax collector. So he wasn't popular, people didn't like it. We also know that he was a small man. Now this story take, took place in Jericho, didn't it? And people have been talking to each other. They'd heard about Jesus. They knew that Jesus had been going around telling stories. And they had been healing people. People were really excited to see him. Just like if there was someone famous coming to Brixton. Let's imagine that Marcus Rashford was coming to Brixton. Lots of people would want to go and see him. All those people interested in football all those people interested in what he's been saying this week to the government. Some people would want to take photographs and maybe people would want to get his autograph. Now, if you got in that crowd, it might be really difficult for you to see him. Even if you stood on your tiptoes, you might not be able to see him. I wonder if you've been in the crowd when you thought, oh, there's just bodies all around me. And then maybe an adult has lifted you up onto their shoulders so you could see. Or if you're a bit bigger and you're too heavy to lift, maybe you've weaved your way to the front of the crowd. Well, the thing about this man is nobody was going to lift him up. He was a grown man. That would have looked, been silly. And also they didn't like him. And nobody was going to let him through to the front. So what he did was... He looked around and he saw a sycamore tree and he climbed up 
into the tree. This is the bay tree that I put him in. But he climbed into a sycamore tree. And then we know what happened next. Because Jesus saw him. And when he saw him, he said, Zacchaeus, come down from the tree. I'm coming to your house to stay. And straight away, Zacchaeus jumped down from the tree. Now, isn't that amazing? Jesus didn't say to him, Hi, mate, what's your name? He said Zacchaeus, he knew his name. And we said last week, God knows our names. So Zacchaeus jumped down from the tree and he took Jesus back to his house for tea. And we don't know what Jesus said to him, but we do know what Zacchaeus said to Jesus. He said, I'm going to give away half of all my money to the poor and whatever money I've cheated people of, I'm going to give back to them four times as much. So Zacchaeus, whose heart started like stone, his heart was melted. When he met Jesus, it became soft. It became soft and it could be moulded into the shape that God wanted it to be. Now, we're going to listen to a really great, 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 great song now. And after the song, we're going to come back together again to do some prayers.
song I did it really is great now I thought for the prayers what we could do is we could think about Jesus coming to our house for tea and think what would we give him what would you give to Jesus if he came to your house now I had some paper plates but if you haven't got a paper plate you could draw around a plate on a piece of paper and cut it out so you've got a round shape and then you could think about the food that you would give to Jesus. Maybe you'd bake him a special cake. Maybe you would give him the things you like to eat. Pizza, sweet corn, curried goat, I don't know. But whatever you think you'd like to give Jesus, if he came to your house, then I want you to draw it on a plate. And as you're doing that, I want you to think about your heart. I want you to think if there's any times this past week when you've shoved God out of the way, when you've done things your way. Maybe you've been a bit mean with a brother or sister. You've said unkind words. You haven't been generous. Just think about those things and ask God to forgive you for them. And then on the back of your plate, I thought you could write, Soften my heart so I can become more like you. So, Father God, soften my heart so I can become more like you. Just like Zacchaeus, ask God to soften your heart. So that's the prayer activity for today. Draw all the things you'd give to Jesus and write your prayer on the back. Now I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to join in with me you can say amen at the end father god soften our hearts so we can become more like you thank you that you know us and you know our names thank you that you care for us help us to be kind and generous to other people just like zach was after he met jesus amen <laughs>